we'll officially be at war within hours after shocking sudden move we just made in NK who didn't listen. North Korea just got a wake-up call they haven't seen since the 90s. One look out to the sea and the North Koreans got a glimpse of their potential future that could be the last thing they see for the rest of their lives. In an unexpected shocking sudden move, the North Koreans were treated to an armada of three American aircraft carriers showing force in the western Pacific Ocean just waiting for the call of duty if they ever need to answer. North Korea's leader, Kim Jong-un must be contemplating his response, if any and it could lead to World War III if Jong-un pulls any wrong move or threatens the USA or its allies. All it takes is one wrong move and Americans on board the three vessels are ready for anything. The USS Ronald Reagan and USS Theodore Roosevelt were already on patrol in the Western Pacific. They're now joined by the USS Nimitz, which is a 100,000-ton warship armed with to the teeth with destroyers and submarines. It is very unlikely that North Korea will do anything substantial enough to enact war, but it's important for the USA to be in defense mode on the account Yunnan engages in activities that declare war. We're not talking about a battle of tweets because neither President Trump nor Yunnan would allow social media to be the spark that lights the fire of war. There's too much to lose and it wouldn't be worth it for the USA to pulverize someone and not really get anything out of it. It's reported by the Daily Star that missile boss Thomas Kennedy assured Americans that Kim's missile can be shot down before they reach the U.S. which is important information for all to know. Then there's the concept of the defector who speaks out, giving away possibly useful information, but that could also be misinformation and any intelligence from defectors must be taken with a grain of salt if there's no evidence to support their information. While what they say might be true. One can't be entirely too sure if they're true defectors or sent out by the North Korean leadership to purposely provide misleading information. There have been two runaways who've escaped North Korea, said to provide information about life in North Korea, but were said to have been found and returned to NK. Some suggest North Korea will be angered by the American show of force because it might lead them to believe that the military drills in the region are rehearsals for war. Details about the USS Nimitz are staggering. It's amazing to see that we can float a massive ship in the sea that can hold 90 aircraft and 7,500 soldiers. The sheer size of this ship and the cargo it carries should be enough to frighten anyone in the heat of the moment. Then rivals remember there are three aircraft carriers like this and it must send shivers down their spine to know what they're up against. The U.S. Navy confirmed the arrival of USS Nimitz today as top officer Captain Carlos Sardillo promised the warships are ready for anything. The massive carrier cost £3.5 billion, pounds, $4.5 billion, and is crewed by 7,500 sailors and marines. It has a wing over 90 warplanes and helicopters which can take off from its massive 1,000 feet long deck. USS Nimitz arrival comes ahead of Donald Trump visit to the Korean Peninsula in early November. The U.S. Navy has not confirmed the carrier's mission, but experts have described it as sending a significant signal to North Korea. The Navy does not want to confirm the mission of the carrier, so people have concluded that it's there to send a visual message to North Korea. If they see the three carriers and all the weaponry that comes with it, they might take that as a show of force and back off or they'll take it as a show of aggression and react with firepower, thus leading us into the act of the war. Of course, I think this is all normal practicing, showing of force to show off, and sending subtle political reminders. I'm not concerned at all with the possibility of war, but I know it's definitely a possibility. If there's one thing America won't do, it's back down or act like they're afraid, because they're not and they won't ever be. American soldiers are made of the toughest material you can find. They're brutal, efficient, and resilient to any adversary they're faced with. Expect North Korea to make a response to this. They might fire a few test missiles or do something similar by sending a few of their ships to sea for a staring match. Stay tuned for the next few days to see how Kim Jong-un responds to the American show of force in the Pacific Ocean. Pacific Ocean.